For the life of me, I can't understand why y'all are caping for Tory Lane. You don't know nothing about this man to establish his character, but y'all will die on any hill for any nigga over believing a woman anything. You will discuss her sexuality, her behavior, her supposed level of maturity, what you think you know about her character, what you do know is that she's already lost so much. When you do know she's lost the people that typically guided her through decision making, the people that would have held her hand and guided her through this, but somehow still managed to wrap up Grammys, BET Awards, VMAs, AMAs, NAACP Image Awards, iHeartRadio Awards, and hell, even People's Choice Awards when her own people refused to choose her. Talk to her! And now she's having to deal with gas station niggas heckling her outside the courthouse or being forced to wear her vulnerability on her sleeve while it plays out on the stage. That girl says she don't want to live. Also just speaking up for herself. Dr. Erica Richards found that minority women are at least twice as likely to experience an episode of major depression than men. If I told you I had to overcome something to be here, would you believe it was you? Mm. Y'all thought using her sex life as a defense would be effective because most of the world assumes black women's bodies are their only source of power, but we've had to reach further inward as a means of escape for centuries, compartmentalizing and holding ourselves off somewhere deep inside in order to protect our sanity. So the real scene objection here is isolating that woman, willing away on her self-sustenance for the past two years, forcing her innermost parts to be laid bare and subjected to a higher power. So I'm gonna tell y'all like I told y'all when I first leave this chair into a parking lot off Mableton Parkway in Mableton, Georgia. Take us back now. This shit ain't free. I can't protect black men at all costs when all costs includes me. And that's the wrap for 2022. Cut the camera off.